The 20th of October 2011 will mark the date in history that Libya was finally rid of Gaddafi. People have said celebrations will go on for weeks, and the date may possibly be celebrated every year. Now the momentous news has had time to sink in, Libyans finally have a chance to contemplate what this means for their future. We wish all Libyan people a brighter future. They have suffered injustice for 42 years. Gaddafi sat on our chest and suffocated us for more than four decades. I feel happy about the fall of the dictator. It's a joy I cannot describe. The taste of freedom and we can now finally feel the wind of change for Libya. Hopefully peace and freedom will be spread all over Libya. We want the Libyan people to know what freedom is and get used to it. It's the feeling of freedom and great happiness for Libya. We hope for the best conditions for a new beginning. NATO has announced that they will wind down their operations for Libya by the end of the month since the threat to civilians has been significantly reduced. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for the support of the air campaign provided by NATO which protected civilians from attack by Gaddafi forces. We thank all the countries that helped and supported us. Without their support, Gaddafi would have wiped us out and killed all the Libyan people. Libyans won't forget their help, because without NATO we wouldn't have achieved this. Gaddafi was fortified behind his compounds. When we entered Bab al-Azizia and saw the fortress he had made, it would have taken 5,000 years for the Libyans to get through. Thank God, and thank NATO for helping Libyans to snatch their freedom from the dictator. There is clearly much gratitude for the role that NATO has played in the conflict, but also a pride that it was the Libyans themselves who decided their fate and ultimately took control of their country. The feeling on the streets is that NATO's job is done, but that Libya will need the help of the international community to rebuild for the future. I hope they will still help us, because we consider ourselves a new country which must rebuild itself. Gaddafi has left nothing to Libya. I wish that the NTC talks to NATO about rebuilding and reconstruction. National Transitional Council de facto Prime Minister Mahmoud Jabril confirmed recently that elections in Libya would be within eight months, the first democratic election in over 50 years. The pressure is on as people will want to see changes, proving that the struggle over the last nine months has been worth it. The NTC will be facing so many obstacles because Gaddafi has left them with so many problems. The first thing, hopefully God will unite all Libyans. Let us forget about the past and turn the page on Gaddafi. Let's build a new Libya, one which is based on democracy and freedom, and live as other people live. This is the NATO Channel, reporting from Tripoli.